Hallelujah. Everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We are so excited that you guys have tuned in with us on this awesome, 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 wonderful, wonderful, wonderful show. And um, just give me one second. Want to make sure you guys can um, can hear us. Want to make sure you guys can hear us um, on Facebook Live. If you can hear us on Facebook Live, give us a thumbs up.
It is. So we're excited that you guys are with us on today. We thank you so very much for tuning in with us to the P3 conference. This is our virtual conference. This is our first time having a virtual conference. But you know what? I thank God because he's doing a new thing. How many of you know that God is fast tracking us? Amen. A lot of us, we've been stagnant too long. And God said, I got to turn some things around and I got to put them on a path to go forward. Amen, glory to God. So I'm excited for P3 Conference, the purpose, the plan, and the promise. I want to thank all of those who participated in our previous conference. This is P3 Conference 2020. Our very first conference was P3 Conference 2012. Then we had 2013 all the way up to 2020. God has allowed us to take this conference all over with the world. We took it to Africa. We took it to England. We took it to the United Kingdom. And we've had some powerful, powerful men and women of God to represent this conference. I want you all to know that you're going to experience the power of the Holy Ghost. It's all about God. It's about lifting up the name of Jesus. It's about giving him the glory. It's about giving him the honor. It's about giving him the praise. That's what it's all about, my friends. The primary purpose and the goal for us Amen. We were created to worship him. We were created to magnify him. That's our primary purpose in the earthly realm, to give him the glory, to give him the honor, to give him the praise. It's not about us, but it's all about him. Yeah. God is coming back for his glory. He Hallelujah. wants his glory. He wants his glory and he wants your affections back to him. Amen. A lot of us have gone off the cliff, but God said, I'm going to snatch you. Yeah. Amen. Because you're about to fall. And I hear the Lord saying, my daughter tell them that I'm about to snatch them up because they are about to fall. And I want them to turn back to me and give me the glory, not the creature, but the creator. Hallelujah. So I thank God for the creator, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end the first and the last, the Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, hallelujah. I don't hallelujah. know about you, but Jesus says, if I be lifted up, yes. then I'll draw all more unto me. We oh, got glory, to get to back to the basics and lift up the name of Jesus. We got to get back. Don't lift up Dr. Dolores' name. Don't yes, lift up nobody's name on here, but we got to lift up the name of Jesus for all honor and glory belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I come to tell you, my friends, on this afternoon that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah for the glory of God. So I'm so glad and I welcome you. If you can, if you could share this broadcast, we got some awesome speakers, some anointed men and women of God. We have um, Pastor Dr. Deborah Nelson, the spiritual warfare queen, the author of I Declare I War. You. My gosh, she taught me, my friends. This is this Holy Ghost woman was not always like this. It all started with Dr. Deborah Nelson. And I tell you, she taught me outreach. She taught me missions. My gosh, she taught me spiritual warfare. Yes. So I had hard knocks teaching from a powerful woman of God. And then I want to thank my aunt, Prophetess Jerice Miles, all the way from Detroit, Amen. Michigan, who was one of my, I tell you, I looked up to Prophetess Miles, travel all the way to Detroit and everywhere yes, she knew, I wanted to go. Hallelujah. She was the first in the family to give her life to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. And I want to thank my friend. The, my mentee, hallelujah, evangelist, powerhouse, Jackie Mays, glory to God, powerhouse woman of God, on I fire bless. for the Lord. This woman has been through the rain, through the storm, and I tell you like never before, and when you hit her, you're going to be healed, delivered, and set free. Just my the God. anointing in her voice, the power in her voice, and I want to thank my friend and my brother, Bishop Hobson, glory to God. Amen. I tell you, the bishop, me and the bishop and friends for years and he gonna tell you like it is sometimes I get on him because sometimes we come a little hard but he say little sis I got to say what God tell me to say so I back on up and I let him let the Lord use him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want to thank my friend, Pastor Christopher Newton, all the way from Texas. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Pastor you, Newton is a powerful, he's an outreach pastor. 
He's real. He's going to tell you the truth. He comes from the hard knock streets and he's out there with the people. He tell me all the time, Dr. D, I love that you got education and you got it all, but guess what? The people want real. So I'm out there listening to the people, hearing with the people, and I'm just a people's pastor. So we thank God for Pastor Chris and I want to thank God for my praise and worship leader who has been with me from the beginning. Amen. Minister the prophet, he's a prophet, guys. Prophet <laughs> Kevin Gates. This man of God can minister. I tell you, just the he has a prophetic gift and in his prophetic song. You know, God will use prophets to sing, and just by them singing, them ministering, I'm telling you, shackles can be can you could be set free shackles will will be, will be re, have to release you you don't even have the ask and they just gonna come off you're gonna be set free by the anointing of the holy ghost so i'm excited also about my brother and my friend dr kevin vaughn the businessman hallelujah he's well-rounded he's the founder Hallelujah. And the CEO of the Men's Let's Talk Network, my friends. This man of God has a lot of gifts. I'm telling you, you'll be able to listen to his about his business, but he's here to help you. He's a servant in the Lord, and he wants to see all of God's people prosper. And last but not least, I want to thank God for my daughter and my granddaughter, who without them, I could never have set any of this up. So I thank God for my, my daughter and my granddaughter who will be helping me on this evening. And most of all, I want to thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in. I welcome you. I welcome you. And I welcome you. Now we're going to turn the service over to praise and worship and give God the glory. Act like you're not on virtual. Praise the Lord Ooh, out God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Anybody dreaming of a song for the joy of the Lord? Simple song says, I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying it down. For the joy of the Lord. Come on, help me sing. I'm trading, I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. And this part it just says, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, you say, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, say, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Come on and clap your hands right there. We love you, Lord, yeah. We bless your holy name, yeah. Second verse, it just states out. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Anybody trade your sickness? Hey, I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Listen, this party says, for the strength of the Lord, for the strength of the, for the strength of the Lord. I'm laying it down for the strength of the Lord. Come on, if you're laying it down for the strength of the Lord, come on, clap your hands. For the joy of the Lord, 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 for the peace of the Lord, for the peace of the Lord, for the peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord, and we'll say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I don't know about you, but for the strength of the Lord, we need the strength of the Lord, yeah. We need the joy of the Lord. Cause the joy of the Lord is our strength And we're trading it It doesn't belong to us But 
with the strength of the Lord belongs to us, yeah. Come on, if you, if you believe that this morning, come on. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, come on, clap. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, say yes. Yes, Lord, amen. We'll try it again. Hey, I traded my sickness. I'm trading myself. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. In spite of everything that's going on, I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain, God, yeah. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. And last time we'll say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, you say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Come on and bless the name of the Lord even right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, we worship you, Father. We amen. thank you, God, that even in this moment, God, you are causing uh, even the atmosphere to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, right where you at, just lift up a sound. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, we worship you, God. Come on, we worship you, Lord. A simple song just says, And there is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. With power to save. Come on, lift your voice. And there is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. Come on, we declare that our God is champion. Our God uh, is champion. He reigns forevermore. Forevermore. Let's try it again. Declare it today. Said our God is champion. He reigns forevermore. Hallelujah. Forevermore. We'll try it again. And there is only one name. There is only With power to save. Come on, let's declare one more time. And our God is champion. He reigns. Oh, hallelujah. More more. We love you, Lord, forevermore. I love this part. It just says atmosphere. Shift now. So change be broken. Break now. It's an atmosphere. Shift now. Change be broken. Break now. Holy Spirit. Yeah, 
an atmosphere. Shift now, we command you to shift off. Hey, 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 hey. Change me broken, break now. We say atmosphere. Shift now, God, now. Heaven, break open, break open. Break open, break open, break open. Break open, break open, break open. Break open, break open. Break open, break open. Break open, so rebandaya. So break open, break open, break open. We command the heavens to break open. We command the heavens to open up. As we declare atmosphere, we declare, we command you to shift down. Oh, atmosphere. Come on, he's trying to shift your atmosphere. In this moment, come on, just lift your hands. Come on, he's trying to shift you into another place. Father, we, uh, we allow you, Lord, to take us to the next place. And Father, we say, God, God, shift our atmosphere. Oh, uh, uh, she atmosphere. Yeah. God, we want to be free. Uh, God, we want your presence to be on us strong. God, feel us up, God. Uh, feel us up. So feel us up, God. So feel us up. Come on, right, bring your eye. I dare you to lift your hands even in the presence of the Lord. There's something taking place even right where you are at. Father, we declare, oh God, to this, this day gone, that you will begin to open the heavens for us. There is, ah, uh, I, I hear the winds of God, yeah. I hear the winds of God blowing upon you. Come on, let it blow upon you. Let the winds of God begin to blow on you. Come on, open your mouths, open your hearts to the Lord. Come on, let him in in this moment. Come on, let him in in this moment. Hallelujah. Come on, let him in this moment. Come on, let him in in this moment. Hallelujah. Father, we don't want anything else but you. God, we want our hearts uh, to be filled with your glory. God, you take the glory. And we say, I must be shift now. Change me broken. Break now. I must be shift now. Chains be broken. Come on, for a few moments. Come on. Come on, I dare you to just go up for a moment. Oh, all we want is you gone. All we need is you gone. All we want is you gone. All we need is you gone. Oh, holy name, Lord, 
your testimony on this afternoon because he's with us we will not faint i don't know about you but i need him as the deer panted for the water so my soul longer back for thee you alone oh god are my heart's desire and i long to worship thee you are the very air that i breathe hallelujah glory to god holy god of israel the one and only God, the true God, the God from everlasting, from everlasting. Holy God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God that changed Jacob's name to Israel. Lord God, we call on you the sovereign God. The God that stood up high and looked down low. The God that is sovereign, that can do anything but fail. The God from everlasting to everlasting, the unmovable mover, the unchangeable changer, the unshakable shaker. You go to my seek a God, we call on you on this afternoon, God, because we know, Father God, if you don't do it, it's not going to get done. God, we call on you, Father. Lord God, we're humbling ourselves. We're praying, oh God, we're turning from our wicked ways. We're seeking you, oh God, because Father God, we know that you can heal our land, Father. Lord God, man can't do it God but you can do it oh God for you own a cattle on a thousand hills father Lord God you sent your son Jesus Christ to walk before us and to be our redeemer hallelujah he went to the cross he died and he rose on the third day so we can be reconciled back to you, oh God. And for that, God, we thank you, Lord God. Reconcile so that we can reconcile to you, oh God, so that we can live right, God, love right, God, forgive right, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for salvation. 
salvation, God. For John 3, 16, for you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. We pull down every stronghold on today. We pull down coronavirus right now, and we command by the power of the Holy Ghost for it to die by fire. We pull down every sickness right now. We pull down every disease right now right now. We bind and we rebuke the spirit of cancer. We bind and we rebuke diabetes. We bind and we rebuke HIV AIDS. We bind and we rebuke high blood pressure, high cholesterol. We bind and we rebuke rheumatoid arthritis. We say Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you and bow to the word of God. That no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against us, hallelujah, shall be condemned. Bow to the word of God and Isaiah 53, 5 and 1 Peter 2, 24 that says by his stripes we are healed. We speak healing in the atmosphere. We speak healing in the atmosphere. We speak deliverance in the atmosphere. We speak it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank God for his word. Lord, you said you sent your word to heal us of all of our diseases. So right now we stand on your word, oh God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm standing on the word of God. He has has never failed me yet. He has never failed me yet. Father, we pray for our government, oh God. Those who are not saved, God, let them bow to the word of God, Father. Let them repent of their sins, God. Be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the church, oh God. We pray for pastors, oh God, who will stand up and take a stand for righteousness, oh God, who will call an ace to ace and a spade to spade, regardless of the situation. Oh God, we pray that you will restore holiness back into the church, oh God. For holiness, God, is what you're looking for, God. You're looking for a holy people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now that we call right now holiness in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, we bind and we rebuke every unclean spirit, every foul spirit, every nasty spirit. We come up against territory spirits that are hovering over Chicago, that is hovering over Baltimore, that is hovering over Portland, that is hovering over inner cities, and and Satan, we plead the blood of Jesus against you and command and command every demon to leave those cities right now. We don't denote, we do not negotiate with demons. We command them to bow to the word of God. Lord, we thank you right now, Father, that everybody that's listening to this prayer, God, that you will touch their hearts, oh God. Take away the stony heart. Give them a heart of flesh, oh God. Lord God, give created them a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit within them, oh God, so that we can walk up right before you, so we can love like you, God, so we can forgive like you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for every preacher on this panel on this afternoon. Afternoon. Lord God, let them speak your word, Father God, without fear, oh God. Let them speak and let them be led by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody that's listening need to be healed. Somebody has a broken heart. Somebody has to bury their parents. Somebody has to bury their child. Some child didn't come home last night. Some mother is wondering where her daughter is. Some father is worried if his son has been killed or shot, dead. Some parent is wondering, where's my daughter? Where's my son? son. Oh God, bring them home, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray for persecuted Christians, God. Lord God, those who are holding up the bloodstained banner, we pray for their families, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know, Father God, that you can do it, God, because we are united. We are united, and I bind the spirit of division right now, and I command by the power of God that every body will be unified as one in a spirit. God, you can do many things. You can do signs, miracles, and wonders when your people come together. Lord God, a one accord, Father. So on this day, God, it is my prayer, God, that somebody that's listening that was have blinded eyes, that you will open up their eyes. Somebody that is lame on today, Father, that you will rise them up, Father, and they begin to walk, oh God. Somebody that's laying in a hospital bed that may be listening, oh God. That, Father God, you will raise them up, Lord God, 
God, and that will become a miracle, and the doctors will wonder who did this thing. And Father God, that the whole unit, the whole doctor's unit, the whole nurse unit will begin to give you glory, Father, that they would know that you are still healing your people. You are still delivering your people. You are still setting them free by your power, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I don't know about you on today, but I believe God. I believe God. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that your people will begin to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. To be spiritually minded is, is, is life and peace, but to be carnally minded is death. We bow and we, and we rebuke the spirit of death, and we speak to every dry bone on this afternoon, and we command you to rise up and walk. Rise up and walk in the power. Rise up and walk in his authority. Rise up and walk in his anointing. Rise up and walk in his power. God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for this afternoon. And I declare and I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will raise your people up, God, and they will begin to walk in their dominion, their power, and their authority, and be able to speak those things that are not as if they were, and will we'll begin to know who they really are, God, that they will walk in their true identity, God, that they will be able to tell the government, that they will be able to tell those who, Father God, who have gone astray, that come on back home, that Jesus is calling you, repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. God, I thank you, Father, for you are holy. Make us holy. God, touch those who are homeless. Let them know, God, that you love them with an unlovable love, that they are the apple of your eye. Touch those, God, who have lost and lost their jobs, God. Touch those, God, who, Lord God, who, who are trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills and trying to figure out how they're going to pay their rent, oh God. Oh God, you on a cattle on a thousand hill, Father. Lord God, my Lord, last I saw Father, you said in your word that if we seek ye first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness, then all these other things should be added unto us, God. Father, you said that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but that's not the end, my friends. And then he said, but I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. I want you to know that the devil is coming to make you think that your story has ended, but I come to say, Satan, you a liar. Jesus said, but hallelujah you got to remember that conjunction word on today he said but i come that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly god i thank you i praise you we stand on your word and we hold you to your word in agreement in jesus mighty name we say that it is so and so should it be established on the earth as it is in heaven hallelujah glory to god we thank you, God. We praise you, God. We worship you, God. We adore you, God. We give you the honor, the praise, and the glory, oh God, for truly there is none like you. Hallelujah. Glory. So we're going to shift right quick and do a couple of business spotlights so that it won't interfere with the word. We want to go ahead and get that out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and go to Elder Kevin Vaughn so he can start his business spotlight. Amen. Hey, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Henderson. Y'all get a lot of hands up of praise. I know all y'all on mute. Thanks, God, for you today. Give God a hand up of praise. What a powerful opening in the Holy Spirit today. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Henderson. Ladies and gentlemen, Elder Kevin Vaughn with you uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. Just want to go through uh, the business spotlight very quickly, okay, because we can always get back together uh, later on. But we got to open up with the word, ladies and gentlemen. Got to open up with the word. A living sacrifice. This is on the business side. If you want to start a business, have a business, create a business, you got to start with the word, right? We always want to start with the word. And the thing is, we want to consult with the Holy Ghost. We want to hope and consult with God. We want to consult with Jesus on what's in your heart, what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to read a couple of scriptures real quick, and we'll get started on some information to share with you today. A living sacrifice. This is um, in the word. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I love it. And then you, uh, then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is, which is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Amen. Also, two out of Psalms, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, one of my favorite scriptures as well. 
delight, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart, ladies and gentlemen, every time, every time in Jesus' name. So we thank God for uh, our, our ideas. Thank God for our businesses. Those who are already in business, we bless you today in Jesus' name. We just want you to be taken to another level today in your businesses, those listening all across the globe as well. All right. Hey, real quickly, some quick stats. We always got to give you a few stats, right, about business because we want you to start your business. If you have a business, we want you to take it to another level, right? Let me tell you about business a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. 82% of businesses that fail do because of cash flow problems, okay? So most of the businesses that do fail, they have cash flow problems. So we're praying that you have good cash flow in your, in your business, right? Second of all, small business employs over 59 million people in the United States. 59 million people are from small business. Isn't that powerful, guys, right there? Also, 250% of all small businesses are operated from home. That's good. And it's probably more than that now because of the COVID, right? COVID-19. So that's pretty powerful. 84% of small business owners indicate that they are feeling optimistic about the future and their companies. Isn't that powerful? You know, when you're working from home, you don't have to go, you know, be on the road and all that other stress. You can really be, get creative when you're at home. So I encourage you to do that. 80, uh, 64% of small business owners begin with only $10,000 of capital. So small business doesn't take a lot sometimes, right? You may need some help, may need a loan, whatever. But 64% start off with a capital of $10,000 to get started. Isn't that powerful? Approximately a quarter of the small business begins with no financial uh, uh, backing whatsoever. They just have a dream. They heard from God. They heard from Jesus. They heard from the Holy Spirit. And they just get it done. They figure God going to figure out the rest of that, right? So sometimes you just got to get started and don't worry about the details. Another statistic real quick is uh, uh, only 40% of small businesses are profitable, right? So I mean, 60% are. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, only 64% of small businesses have their own website. So I want to encourage you to not only have your website, but also have a mobile app. And we can talk more about those details in the future, okay, as well. Hey, guess what you got to have? Because we're talking about today is prayer for your business. You got to have prayer. You got to have a project. And you got to have planning in light of P3, right, ladies and gentlemen. So prayer, project, and planning. We got to talk about that. So the first thing you got to do is pray, all right? Before you even get started in your business, we want you to pray, ask God the direction you need to go, and basically it's going to happen. When you get the go light from God, you know, game over. But there is a plan, right? You got to have a plan too at the same time. So real quickly, I want to encourage you guys, you got to have a, some type of summary of your business. So when you get in business, you got to have a good business plan, right? Real quickly. Also, to a mission statement, statement would be nice. Now, keep in mind, all this is not necessarily necessary. It's just general information. Company background, right? A little bit about your, your company, because guess what? Somebody says, hey, I want to invest in your company. They're going to ask you for some information, right? So company background, they're going to ask you for product description, right? A little bit about your product, especially if they're going to sell into your business, right? Or give you an a investment in that area. Marketing plan, right? I want to encourage you to have your own marketing plan. Again, we have people that can help you in that. Uh, competitive analysis, that means you want to know what your competitors are doing. Uh, are you going to make some money? You know, what markets you're going to be in? All that's good information as well. I talk about prayer in the plan as well. So continue to pray throughout the entire process of setting up your business. And then, of course, you have to have an operation system set up as well. That means basically have a plan to exercise your business, whether you're working from home or you have a storefront or a brick and mortar system as well. Also, too, you got to have a good financial planning system. I would recommend a good CPA, right? And of course, for your taxes, all that good stuff. This is just general information as well. And of course, have a good timeline or a good schedule to set up your business as well. As we move forward in the prayer project and planning of your business, ladies and gentlemen, we want to encourage you to don't let people waste your time. When you've heard from God, you just keep it moving, right? You can bless people and say, hey, I appreciate your information. You don't even have to say nothing. Just keep it moving, right? <laughs> they may be sit, tell us it telling you something totally different than what God has said. Don't worry about it. Just keep it moving. So several things real quickly. Waiting for inspiration. Uh, some, uh, sometime you're already inspired, right? I always ask people, what's in your heart? What do you like to do, right? So it's already there. Doing uh, Also, too, doing everything by yourself. Also, get some help, right? Don't let people waste your time, but get the right help as well. Also, too, don't worry about what people say, right? We talked about that real quick. Don't worry about what folks say. It's your business, it's your idea, it's your vision, get it done. Also too, uh, the fear factor, get rid of that, right? We don't have no fear in Jesus Christ, right? Uh, obviously, complaining, uh, keep the complaining down to zero. <laughs> no complaints as you move forward. And also too, last but not least, 
uh, also to make sure you just enjoy the journey, right, on top of that as well. All right, as we move forward, guys, in prayer, project, and planning, I want to just encourage you to let you know there's so many things you can do. I'm not going to go through a whole list of businesses that you can start. We can talk about that later. So just for the time's sake, because we want to hear from our awesome speakers, Dr. Henderson next, and then we want to hear the word of God next. But there's so many businesses today that you can start or expand on, and I'll be glad to share that with you uh, later on in the, in the broadcast or even after the uh, network uh, uh, system today, after the conference today as well. So we thank God for you. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Elder Kevin Vaughn. I just want to give you some quick tips. The goal is to stay in business, get in business, and guess what? Also help your young people, right? Help your young people get in business as well. Encourage them. It can start out small. It don't have to be big, work from home. But the goal is to get them in the mindset, right, of excellence, the mindset of business today, because they can own land. They can own homes early, really. They can own property early. You know, if you set them up for that success, they can do that. They can do that before they get out of college, before they get out of high school. In some cases, depending on how, how much planning you do. But the point is that they'll, they'll be in the position and the mindset to do that. Hey, this is Elder Kevin Bond with the MLT Networks, CEO and founder of the MLT Networks, ladies and gentlemen. Global network. We do a lot of great things. Uh, we'll share that with you, but the website is there. You see that up there, right? Up there. Yeah, there it goes right there. <laughs> so check it out as well. Elder Kevin Vaughn with you. Thank you so much, Dr. Henderson. Back to you. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Vaughn. For those of you who have just listened to Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Vaughn um, has the MLT Network, um, which is a global radio network. And uh, we do our straight to the point um, radio broadcast on his network every Monday night at 8 o'clock p.m. And so we've been uh, with Dr. Vaughn now for eight years. And so we thank God for the favor that he has given us to um, be allowed to be on Dr. Vaughn's network. Um, so if you want to have radio, um, you're interested in radio, TV, he does a plethora of things. I mean, radio, TV, network, and uh, contact Dr. Vaughn. So we're going to move right along. Um, I'm not going to be before you long. I'm going to ask my granddaughter to come and stand beside me. I want to talk to you guys about, this is Gabrielle. Say hi, Gabrielle. Hi. <laughs> we're going to talk to you guys about Gay-Y-L. A lot of people can't pronounce it, so the, it's pronounced Gay-Y-L, which stands for three generations of royalty and strength. And so the three generations is myself, my daughter, who is right over there, and my granddaughter, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Amen. So the E-L-L-E -L -L -E is the last four letters of Gabrielle. And so um, we thank God for her. And as Dr. Vaughn said, we have to leave it inheritance for our children's children. So when God gave me this vision, he said, is you have to leave it inheritance for your children, children. And so we have to remember that. And so it was really, this business is for my girls, my girls, which is my daughter and my granddaughter. And so um, we thank God. And so a day while L, three generations of royalty and strength, I put royalty in there because we are a royal, we are a royal priesthood. We all are royal. God is reminding us that we are royalty and that we are made of strength. Every trial that we've been through in life, every situation, it has strengthened us. So we want to remind people that we are royalty and we are strength. We are overcomers. And so that's how we got DayYL, three generations of royalty and strength. So we're going to go over some of the products. The website is www.dayyl.com. And so we specialize in total skin and body care. You know, a lot of times they People, they look on that. They want to put on a lot of makeup and to cover up things and, you know, to cover up diseases, to cover up things. And God said, I want you to focus on the inner and, I, and then the outer. And so our products deal with the healing the inside. So we have a lot of vitamins. We have a lot of um, skin products, natural skin products, and all our vitamins, our skin products, um, our body sprays are made of natural ingredients. So. Um, then we also have apparel as well um, for men and women uh, because God said, I want you to, it not just to be about you and, you know, Wakita and Gabrielle. I want it to be about the entire family, the family. So we, went, we wanted to include men to, to let the family know that we want the entire family whole. We want the entire family healthy. So they should be eating healthy. They should be working out together. They should be taking care of their system and just, you know, 
um, holding each other up to a, to a standard, especially with all these things going on. Like I said, we should not have waited until COVID came before we start taking our vitamins, before we start taking care of ourselves. These things should have been in place. And so we're going to start with the vitamins and Gabrielle is going to pass them to me. We want to start with the vitamin C. We offer vitamin C to all of our customers and these vitamins are all FDA approved. I know you guys see day while early, you're probably like, wait a minute. What are they doing? I ain't buying no vitamins from them, but they are F they are made in an FDA approved lab, okay? So they're legit and um, so you can buy from us. Vitamin C, you gotta have your vitamin C. It, it helps against colds and it helps against all those things that will try to come and tear down your immune system. And then we have um, CoQ10. CoQ10, this is the heart. People don't realize that your heart need energy. Your heart muscles need energy. CoQ10, it helps with heart muscles. And so I'm telling you, when you take these pills, you'll hear so much energy. Your heart was, it helps against so many things. I remember when my um, doctor said that my vitamin D3 was low. And um, then he said that my cholesterol was high. He put, tried to put me on statins. And I was like, statins? I don't want to put take statins, but I took them and then my muscles started hurting in my heart. And he said, I want you to take CoQ10 with it. You have to take CoQ10. If any of you guys are on statins, statins are those cholesterol pills. He said, you have to take CoQ10 with them. It'll stop, them, stop you from having muscle aches. CoQ10. You can get CoQ10 from anywhere, but we have it as well. COQ-10. Okay, it's called CoQ10. It really helps with your heart. It helps with your, um, with your muscles because statins make your muscles ache. But I thank God I'm not on it anymore. I've been off of statins for three years. To God be the glory. Amen. And so um, then we also have vitamin D3. Vitamin D3. Everybody know you need vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, you cannot live without your vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, it helps with your muscles, it helps with your skin, it helps against so many diseases and people don't even realize it. They told people that, um, that actually to take vitamin D3, to take zinc, to take vitamin C, um, in this atmosphere that we're now in, this COVID atmosphere, it will help us, it will build up our immune system. And then we have, we have vitamin B complex. The B complex, it has all of the B vitamins in it. We need the B complex. There are so many um, benefits of taking the vitamin B. I mean, I take my, um, every morning I do my vitamin B, I do my vitamin D3, and I also do my vitamin C, and it helps me. Amen. And then we have, and I'm going to do both of these at the same time. For those of you who want to flush your system, we have what is called a full body detox. We have a full body detox. It will flush your blood. It will flush your cells. It will flush your intestines out. And we recommend that you, with the um, full body detox, that you do the Garcinia Cambogia as well. But we first, you have to have your, do your full body detox. And then you do, after you finish your full body detox, your round of full body detox, then you have to do the Garcinia Cambogia. So we're all about health. The Garcinia Cambogia gives you energy, it burns fat, and um, it's really good. I don't, I, I, I had lost weight, then I gained weight back, and I lost 10 pounds by going back onto my Garcinia Cambogia. So I thank God for this. And so um, we have also um, what is called coconut oil. There is so many benefits of coconut oil. People don't realize it help your nails, it help your skin, it help your hair grow. And if you have dry skin, coconut oil is beneficial for coconut for, for your dry skin. And so we tell people who are dealing with dry skin, try your coconut oil. It will help you. Then we have um, frankincense. This is not the kind that you will drink. This is the kind that you will put in a diffuser and allow it to diffuse your atmosphere. 
anybody that know anything about frankincense essential oil, we know that it has healing properties, okay? So if you guys um, want, you can look up all these vitamins and see the benefits of these vitamins. They will help you. So those are some of the vitamins. We're going to be getting more vitamins in soon. Um, we want to get the zinc in because if, if anybody know, if you've been listening to the news, those of you out there that know that zinc can help against the COVID-19. So I want you guys to invest in your health. We're no good if we're not healthy. You know, we got to take care of our bodies. We got to take care of our health so that we can go the long haul and do what God wants us to do. Amen. In the kingdom and for the kingdom. Glory. And so I'm going to switch now to skin. We have um, included, like I said, um, some items for men. And it's those men who have beard oil, who have beards, we have what is called beard oil. We've gotten so many testimonies about this beard oil. It has um, made people beards. But Dr. Kevin Vaughn, you, you see his beard? Anybody that knows Dr. Kevin Vaughn, he, oh, he was clean shaven. But look at his beard, how it has grown. He's been using our beard oil and his beard has grown in so beautiful in the gray. Can you see the gray? He's been using the beard oil. And again, our products are natural. We do not use anything, no chemicals. We use all natural products and we have a, we uh, work with a laboratory that fulfills our products, okay? So it's not like we're just at home mixing things up. We are, you know, God said this thing needs to be legit. It has to be right. And so, you know, a lot of times, like Dr. Vaughn said, a lot of us, we try to start businesses and things not in order. Anything that God put together, it needs to be done in excellence. You need to be registered. You need to be legal. If you're selling people products, you need to make sure your stuff is legit because you can get sued. Amen. And so we um, connected with the laboratory that fulfill our products, our body sprays, our skin creams. Amen. And we just tell them what we want in it. And they work with us and give us advice and things of that nature. So this beard oil has been helping a lot of men with their beards. And so we're excited about that. And we're coming out with men, with um, skin cream for men who are clean shaven because we don't want to discriminate. We understand some men, they don't want a beard. They want their clean shaven face, skin. Yeah. And so we are working on um, coming up with some cream for men with clean, um, clean shaven, amen? And men with bald heads. We're gonna get you some cream for your head, man. Then we have what is called nourishing hand cream. If you don't want to start off putting things from us buying for your skin, then try out hand cream. We got this hand cream and Dr. Vaughn brought some as well. It's for men and women. It will make your hands soft. It will help with wrinkles and things of that nature. It's the nourishing hand cream. If you say, okay, let me start with something on my hand before I put it on my face. We recommend the hand cream. And this hand cream is really, it is my, if you guys can feel my hands, I'll be touching my granddaughter. she would be like, are you actually touching me? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I've been using this hand cream. My hands are so soft. And so um, um, we also have other creams. We have Restore Cream. We also have charcoal mask to pull up the impurities out of your skin. Um, we have night cream as well. Um, so I like the restore cream. I like the hand cream. Um, the charcoal is good, you know, um, but I'm, I'm big on the restore and I'm big on the hand cream. And so we have also, um, ladies, natural. We don't have chemical sprays. These are natural products. We have, um, we have um, body sprays. Sweet pea, we have vanilla, we also have um, Japanese cherry blossom and Japanese rose. Um, <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Right Now Word. If you are listening and you have not accepted Jesus Christ in your life, I submit to you that he loves you so much. He wants to come into your heart. If you will go to Romans 10, 9, the Bible says that if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then my friend, you will be saved. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Right Now Word.